Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Work on your sexual confidence. Now, what do I mean when I say work on your sexual confidence? Exactly what the word says. I've talked about this before. See, there's two types of confidence. You know, we always talk about confidence, especially a lot of uh, men who uh, talk about, you know, the whole thing of man gets woman. And But see, there's two types. You can be socially confident, but not sexually confident. Like someone can be socially confident, and you know, they go out, you know, they can chat it up with people, be the center of attention, but then that's sexually confident. You know, they when they get down to it, when they're alone with the woman, they ain't sure they can satisfy the woman. And that's 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 based on multiple things. You got a lot of guys, they feel like they don't got a, a porn star joint on them, so they can't do it for the woman, or they worried about lasting like more than like three minutes and all of that. And then again, you know, they like it, but then you got some guys who have it, but they might be quiet in the real world. They might be quiet in the real world. So, you know, it's like, you know, it's it's something that every man got to work on. Now, here's the thing, because I know somebody would be like, well, Rom, how can I build my sexual confidence? I'm going to tell you what, because, you know, I get a lot of guys who ask about different things. Well, what books can I read and everything? Well, I'm going to tell you what. Usually I say there's not any real books, but definitely check out books on more advanced forms of uh, sexuality, more advanced forms, uh, you know, books like Kunyatsa. Uh, that's, um, you know, that's from a brother named uh, Habib uh, Akunde. Uh, books like The Tao of Sexology, uh, books from uh, Mantak Chia, uh, like some of the more esoteric stuff. You know, books on tantra and everything. And that those are good to give you the skill level. Those are good to just give you, like, some basic techniques and everything. And that's very important. But the one thing that really builds it is you got to have the sexual experience. You got to just go in there and do it. That's the best way. And this is what I would suggest. One, first of all, focus on a woman that you are. Don't, don't focus on a random woman. Focus on a woman that you are truly sexually attracted to. Let me say that again. A woman that you are truly sexually attracted to for, um, or you truly uh, sexually attracted to her. In other words, a woman gets your joint hard. So that's the first thing right there. That's, that's the first thing. You know, if you deal with a random woman, you know, your joint might be like, uh, nah, I don't feel like it. You ain't going to feel it. Indeed, uh, a great cure for erectile dysfunction is just for the man just to get a new woman that he finds sexually attractive. But that can be another conversation. Now, you first you do that, and then once you get with a woman, take your time. Seriously, take your time. It's a very simple concept. Take your time. See, a lot of guys be getting in there and they, they want to do the, you know, bang, bang, bang. They want to do that friction sex. They trying to get there as quick. Most women take a while to warm up. Most women take a while to warm up. And indeed, I got something else for that, too, to help build your confidence, right? Um, but they take a while, so don't be trying to rush it. You know, old school players be like, you know what, well, make sure she gets hers first. And the biggest thing that a man can do is just have stamina. So, you know, you want to take your time. And even before you get there, take your time with some foreplay. And foreplay can, foreplay really. Well, I'm going to give you all basic foreplay. Just take your time. Start off, you know, start off kissing her. Work your way down to her neck. Work your way down to her breast. You know, just take your time with that because her... Her breast area, her nipples are very much connected to her vagina, get her wet and everything. Well, just take your time, you know, rub her over, give her a massage or something. Get her relaxed. Get her relaxed, right? Because what had happened is, see, part of a woman's orgasm is on her. Part of it's on a man, part of it's on her. 
a woman can have an orgasm really just looking at a man, being around her, but she got to be relaxed. So get her relaxed. Get her relaxed. And she can, she can scream. You, you, you ain't even do much. You know, take your time. Take your time with her. Take your time. And then even when you having sex with her, don't do the bang, 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 bang thing. This is what you got to do. You got to just, you know, switch up that stroke. You know, start. you can start off slow. Then at some point you're going to have to speed it up anyway because there's like nine levels to a woman's orgasm. Like level one, yeah, you can be nice and slow. Level five, she wants some, she want a Klingon up in her. She wants a Klingon up in her. She she wants it. Wow, she'll she'll encourage you. She'll start smacking you. He's like, man, that's all you got? Harder. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. That's what they want their full energy. But in order to even get to that point, you gotta take your time. Now, also, too, now this this is tough. This this'll be tough. But this is the real semen retention, right? This is the real semen retention. Everybody thinks semen retention is just no fap, and that's what the general thing is, but that's something separate. True semen semen retention means you can go up in that woman raw and still control yourself enough not to ejaculate. And that takes practice. Usually most men, average man, don't master that until, like, his 40s. But even if you're young, you can just practice it. Just take your time. Uh, when you feel like that, you know, you're about to go, slow down, breathe, control your breathing. Because usually when a man's about to ejaculate, he's going to speed up. He's going to speed up. He's going to breathe harder and everything. Control your breathing. Uh, when you feel like you're about to go, clench down there. Just like if, you, okay, say you out in public, you peeing on a tree or something, and somebody come by, you'll clench right there. Or even if you in a bathroom sometime and you get some dudes and they acting on some weird stuff, you ain't gonna feel comfortable. You clenching. That's all. That's all that is. All you're doing is keeping the semen in there. You know, some other people they'll call it edging. You know, you got some cats. They you know they pulling on their stuff, but they ain't ejaculating. That's the same principle. That's the same principle. You know. They, ain't, they just ain't ejaculating. They just edging. They're getting to that point, but then not going all the way with it. And it's not saying you don't have to ejaculate at all. You're just prolonging the experience. And then just be in the moment because then it actually makes you feel good. It actually makes you feel good all over your body, right? So, you know, taking your time and everything. But ultimately, ultimately, you can read all the books, do all these techniques and stuff. You got to get out there and practice now that's you know that's where you bring in the other stuff about meeting a woman, you know, connecting with her and stuff. But it takes practice, and then every single time you'll get better and better at it. And then you know, once you figure out how to make a woman holler in general, you feeling good about yourself. But you got to work on it. You you got to work on it because a lot of guys, I'm seeing a lot of men they hitting up me up privately, and it comes down to that sexual confidence. You know, you feel bad and everything, but, you know, you just got to work on it. You got to work on it. Ultimately, like, you can listen to all my stuff. In fact, on my uh, Patreon at my $20 level, that's where I really get into uh, sexual dynamics, skills, and also seduction. So at my $20 level at, on my Patreon. So, but whatever the case, you just got to work on it, all right? So that's all I got for today, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.